previously on Deluge FM, we did a deep dive into concept and bells. This time, it will be a faster, point-specific topic on how to make bass, specifically the classic lately bass or solid bass tone from the Yamaha TS81Z and also found on various DX synths. I thought about making this video about many bass tones, but found enough important material to just talk about the lately bass. If you don't know about this famous bass tone, or know a bit but aren't understanding the true value, let's just show some of the major songs it was in. So it's a major tone in the history of popular music. I've spent a good deal of time immersing myself in this and listening to the recordings. The tonal qualities of it vary on some of the recordings, so I have to think that while the preset is strongly present in all these recordings, it was tweaked in some ways over the famous examples of it. Sometimes the mid-range is higher and sometimes the FM squelch is higher. Please, if you could, like this video and subscribe to this channel. It will really help so that I can keep providing these tutorials and free downloads of Deluge Sound Designs. I've researched it enough to know that this is the algorithm and formula for the Lately Bass as found on the TX81Z first and foremost. So you can see the algorithm there. Okay. And as I've shown before, here is the two algorithms that are possible on the deluge. So you can see some of the potential issues there. So that's the main issue with getting this tone precisely on the deluge. We'll get close though, so I think I will affectionately call this the closely bass. And I've provided four nice options of that that check different boxes for what you might need in a lately bass tone. Also, I made one that does random chaos mixed in with the FM just for fun. Looking at the ratios on the original formula, it's basically 0.5 and 1, which is really just octave bass with FMing. But there's a little more to it. The envelopes shape the tone over time and give it that thumping tone with a modern type FM squelch. Some of the hip hop songs using it sounded more mid rangey the velocity is super important on this one. Otherwise, it sounds too dead and monotonous. Okay, so looking at the recipe, we see there's no velocity on the carrier, but each of the modulator operators has some velocity control, meaning as you play, you get different attacks and tones. So playing it with a velocity sensitive keyboard is very nice, or record it onto the deluge and then vary the velocity afterwards. Here are some of the tones I've created on the deluge. That one's probably the closest. And here's it on the Modex. So it's, uh, the Modex can get this a little bit more zap type FMing. You hear that, and that's just the limits of having the uh, less operators uh, on this and less envelopes. But you're really close on that tone here on this one. This one was the one that had a little bit more of the mid-range character I heard on some of the hip-hop recordings Lately Bass has been on. It's always nice to have a synth that is true to the original preset when doing this kind of work. So again, I brought up my Modi X to get a Lately Bass tone. And so what I did is I used the formula I found to create the Lately Bass true to the exact sound so I could A-B test it and get my deluge to sound as much like it as possible. Okay, starting from scratch here, let's make that tone. So we're on init. First we change the synth mode to FM. Yep, sine waves. Okay, then let's take this one down an octave. Good, okay. Then this one stays, um, actually, this one goes down an octave two. 
and then this one goes up to uh, root. All right, let's just start adding them in a little bit. It's going to sound bad. Yep, yep. All right, and now we're going to change the, um, the FM algorithm. So up on destination here, change it to this, and then it's the uh, chain. So that one there, and so. Okay, this is gonna take a little bit. Let's um, get this going. So we want, we're gonna have to use envelope one a couple times. Initial, uh, you know, the volume envelope be default, and I'll do that. So decay and uh, release are gonna be four, and sustain is gonna be either zero or close to zero. So Right? All right, so now we take this one, and so this is modulator one, okay? We're going to use envelope one to affect the volume. Let's try it at 50. So you hear that uh, FM attack? All right, sounds weird. Let's go down an octave. All righty, we're sounding a little bit more close, like a lightly bass. Okay, so let's do some other things to that. Let's go back into this one. And so we already are using envelope one, that'll stay. We can turn it and it doesn't change. Envelope one, let's take velocity and turn that up a little bit. Okay, you can't hear it here. I've got this keyboard up here, he can't see. Um, master is velocity sensitive. So let's take that either all the way down or most of the way down. Uh, we could go bad, negative, no. That's pretty nice, and we haven't even brought in the second uh, modulator. And uh, as reference, here I'll play the mode X. A little more character there. But it's got four operators there, and we haven't even gotten past two operators yet. So we've got this one up a little bit. Let us quickly on envelope two. Okay, so let's, um, yeah, one on the attack, about five on this one for the decay and the release, and then zero on sustain. Okay, so now we have envelope two set up. So we'll put that one on modulator two. Uh, just to, we've got the shape of that. Got to turn that all the way up, and it might be a little intense at this point. No, nope, nope, that's about right. So some recordings I've heard of it have that more squelchy uh, attack tone. I think I want to bring that down a little bit, so there's a couple ways we could do that. We could uh, use less envelope, or we could go back into the overall volume of uh, FM Mod 2. Nice. So a range around there, I'd say about three or five, somewhere. So check this. Okay, probably play with the feedback of any one of these operators because uh, we have limits here. And so. about there feedback on modulator 2 at 14 so and uh, we might put on some velocity on some of these to uh, even controlling the feedback to give it a little more expressiveness also um, we might turn up the bass a little bit because we can that's really nice I love that the deluge has bass and treble controls so there you have it that is one way to get to the lately bass tone it's uh, there's all sorts of uh, things you can do to it in this territory. If you want it this way or that way to sound a little bit more like what you want, you can tweak any of the things that we've gone over to sculpt that sound a little bit because um, Lately Bass does have a few limits here on Deluge, but it, um, it gets really close. So that's why I call it the Closely Bass.